welcome back to farming simulator and i wanted to do a an initial simple introduction to setting up a bale trailer to work with universal auto load um universal auto load lets you get quite complicated but i thought i'd just do the basics in this first video if there's demand i will try and go deeper but otherwise the video would be very long so i thought i'd cover the basics first so we have this bale trailer it is not configured for auto load and what we're going to do is set up the the area on the trailer in giants editor and notepad plus plus so that it will have a load area and configure it as a bale trailer so you get the bale loading mode you will then be able to do this for any other trailers that don't have it configured lastly before you do any of this and make any changes to mods take copies of any mods that you're editing so that if you break them you can go back and do it in a test save you don't need to do it in your actual save game get it working and then go back to your actual save game so on here i've got a, a stack of fairly big square bales and then some smaller ones because this is quite a small trailer so yeah let's uh, jump out to the desktop and our mods folder so step one sometimes unpopular if you don't know how to find your mods folder you shouldn't be doing this second you are going to need to have giants editor installed i would recommend having notepad plus plus installed and 7zip so those are the three tools you're going to need you can find all of those through google um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the trailer that we want to edit we're going to right click on it we're going to go into 7zip and we are going to extract to the name will be different for yours if it's a different trailer it will be the name of the mod do that and then we're going to delete the zipped version once you've unzipped your mod we're going to go to universal auto load we're going to right click go to 7zip and open the archive because there's a really handy readme in here and uh, this is going to tell you a lot of what you need today we're going to keep it quite simple we can go quite complex and we can build the complexity up over time on here, but we're going to scroll down to the bottom. And there's this really handy set of instructions down here about how to get the dimensions you need of the loading area using Giants Editor. So we'll go into our bale trailer and we're going to open the i3D file with Giants Editor. And here it is. So I'm going to have these instructions on the other screen because I need to be able to read them. But you should be able to do that as well. So we're going to go to create primitive cube. That gives us a one by one cube. And then we're going to go over to translate Y and set that to 0 0.5. Okay. Next step is to freeze transformations, and we do that by going to edit and clicking freeze transformations and applying. And we can close that. Okay. We are then going to select the box. So we've got that selected, and we're going to use Control B. We're going to hold down control B and then we're going to left click on the bed of the trailer. So with that selected, hold down control B and click. And that should have jumped your box up onto the trailer. There we go. See. Um, so then what we need to do is adjust the X coordinate and the Z coordinate to be zero. That should get them in the center of the trailer. And now we need to scale the box. So to do that, we use these scale ones. And if we change X, we make the box wider. So you want to make that so it's the same width as the trailer. Um, obviously that'll take a little bit of uh, work. So uh, you uh, up to you, you can make it exactly the same width, you can make it a little bit smaller, you can make it a little bit bigger, it will obviously affect how much you can fit on. I'm going to do it so it's just under. 
Um, we then want to adjust the uh, next one. So Y makes your height and Z makes your length. So we'll do length next and uh, that's too long. So let's go for, let's try eight, that's too long. Let's try seven, too long, six. Um, so with a trailer like this, where you've got um, these boards at the end, you do want to make sure that it fits. If you need to, you can click on the arrow and move it a little bit. So um, we're just going to finesse this a little bit so that it um, fits quite snugly. That seems sensible. That might be a little bit too big, so we'll do 6.4. Uh, just nudge that forwards a little bit there we go yep and then we want to set the height so for the height um you can have two heights you can have a separate height for bales i will show you how to set that but um we set the height by adjusting the y scale and i'll put some numbers in a pinned comment below about numbers of bales versus heights for different types um if you want to be able to stack at least two bales, so two square or round bales high, you want to go for about 2.5 meters. Um, that might be too high on different size trailers, on smaller trailers, but you can adjust that to whatever you want. You can set two heights. I will show you how to do that. So you can set a height that would be used for things like pallets, and then you can set a bale height as a being higher or lower. I'm going to go for, for 2.5. That will let us put two square bales or two round bales on. Um, so those are the numbers that we need to get. So we are then going to go back to our mods folder. We're going to double, we're going to double click on the XML file for the trailer. Yours might have a different name that opens it in Notepad++. You can use Notepad. Any text editor will do. And we want to scroll down towards the bottom and you can put it in about here. So you just want to find a spot in the XML file. Make sure you're not in a section. So you, you'll see you have a set of pointy brackets and then a set of pointy brackets with a slash that opens and closes a section. Make sure you're outside of that. And then in this text file, from Loki, we will scroll up and there is a simple example which is what we're going to use so we just need to copy that bit and we'll select it we will copy it and we will paste it in here so and then what we need to do is if I move that back over here we then need to translate our numbers from Giants editor into the XML file. So what we're going to do is offset. So the first offset number is the um, translate. So translate the first one will be zero because translate X is zero. Offset Y will be translate Y, so that's 1.079 in our example, and then Z in our example is 0 0.122. We then need to do the, um, the width, the height, and the length. So the width is scale X, which for us is 2.15. The height that we're going for is 2.5. Length is 6.4. So that's the very basics. That will now work as an auto load trailer. Um, what we're going to do is add a few more bits. The first thing we're going, I'm going to show you is if you want to put in a separate bail height, what you can do is here you type copy and paste because I've got it written down bail height equals and then the bail height that you want so um, we could have this be lower than so if we're loading heavy pallets it doesn't load as high and if we're loading bales we get a bit more height and I can show you that in game 
you can see that I've made a mistake here. We need to have that closing speech mark. That's the really nice thing about using Notepad++ is it will show you that uh, if you've made any mistakes. The last bit we're going to do is tell Universal Autoload that it's a bail trailer. And we're going to add in one more option as well. And I've got these pre-written out. Um, if I can, I'll stick them in a comment below. It might not let me because of the punctuation. Sometimes YouTube doesn't like funny punctuation. Um, but you can use the examples in Loki's file to see how you set them. So if we bring this back across, you'll see that in the more complicated example up here, we've got the options um, and you've got you know all the different things that you can put in so you can copy a bit of that and then change the options that are selected to be down here so we've got is bail trailer um and we've got enable sideload so lots of options you can configure it's trying to keep this one quite simple um if i can't copy this on to youtube i'll maybe try and stick the text in discord somewhere but that's us done. This tra trailer will now work as an auto load trailer for loading everything. And it will give you the bail loading mode in the single load area. So the other thing, if you want some more examples, how to do this, if we go back in here, I've also got the universal auto load mod hub add on downloaded. And if we open that with seven zip and go into config and supported vehicles, a, if you have this installed, a whole load of mods already supported, but also it'll give you a whole load more example configurations that we can slowly work through. I might, might turn this into a small series of videos if people are interested, um, but there are examples. And if you do um, say is bail, you'll see that down here, we've got an example for the Bailey bail trailer of how to set it all up. So that is, uh, gives you all of the options you would need. So just to finish this off, because we aren't quite finished yet, we're going to save and close. We're going to close this. We do not need to save it. You do not want to save it because you don't want that random cube appearing. Just save it as is. Uh, or don't save it, sorry. Do not save. Do not save. There we go. So that's that. Um, I'm not going to rezip this yet. We'll actually make sure that it works. So we'll go back into the game, check that it works, and then we'll come back out and rezip it. Step one to check that you haven't screwed things up. Does your mod still appear when you start? If it doesn't, go check your log file. It will tell you some errors um, and fix the errors that you made. You probably made a typo, I would guess back in the game and back in our tractor and if we open the f1 menu up now you'll see at the top we have got start load, start loading and bail collecting mode so we'll do the bail collecting mode first so um, we'll come over here and pick up the slightly smaller ones so control shift r enable bail collecting mode and there we go we are collecting bales and we stop when we are too high so yep yeah. That's bales loaded and then to unload them. Shift and I and then we can go and if we have a look at the bigger bales, I'm not sure how many of those it will fit because they are wider than our bale loading area because these are 2.2 meter long bales and we have a 2.1 something wide bale loading area. So there we go. We can't get many of those on at all. But that's because this is a small trailer. So you know if you've got a small trailer make smaller bales you'll get more on and let me just unload those we'll very quickly get a few pallets spawned so we'll use easy dev controls to create some pallets I, can never remember. I don't use this very often so let's do uh, general let's do some pallets of barrels I've not seen those before um, and hopefully the version of auto load that I've got installed will pick these up there we 
go. So that's as high as they will go because we put a lower height on it. So that's showing you the bale height working differently to the pallet height. The last step that we want to do is go back to the mods folder, go in to the mod at this level. So you want to be where you can see the mod description when you go into the folder. We're then going to do control A, that selects everything, right click, go to 7-zip, and we are going to add to mod name dot zip. That will create the zip file. We are going to right click on that and we're going to cut it. We're going to go up to the mods folder and we're going to paste it. And then we're going to delete or copy or remove however you want to do it, the folder. You don't want to have multiple copies. And that is job done. Okay, so that is a very sim you know, basic introduction of how to add universal auto load to a trailer and tell it it's a bale trailer. There are so many more things we can do with this series. So you can configure multiple configurations so that if trailers have different configurations, they can be set up differently. We can set it up as a log loading trailer. We can have different types of loading. If it's a pallet trailer, you know, like a curtain cider, that kind of thing. Um, so if there are more things you would like to see, let me know down below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you like this mod and you haven't already, go into Mod Hub, rate it five stars. Um, and I will see you next time.